Hello everybody. Today, we're going to teach you how to customize your new Premium Press website. So let's begin. In front of me, we have the shop theme, but this video tutorial can be used for all the Premium Press themes. So it doesn't matter what theme you're using, you can follow along in this video tutorial. So let's get started. So this is the home page after I've just installed the shop theme. And as you can see, it's asking me to select a default design. Now, if I hover over any of the design, I have two options. I can view the design or I can install the design. If I click on view the design, it's gonna load the page in the new window and I can preview what the design looks like. And if I install the design, this will set the design you've selected as your new home page. But before I do that, I wanna show you how to access the same options by the admin area. We're gonna click on Premium Press. And in this video, we're gonna be using mainly the design options. So we click on design. And we have two big options. We have edit the design or a new design. And since we've just installed the theme, we're gonna use the view new designs. Now for this example, I'm gonna install the design and then show you how to remove it if you decide you want to use a different one. So we click on install design. It's display on our homepage. We go back to the admin if you want to remove it. So we go back to the admin area. We click on from the WordPress page, we click on premium press, click on design. We click on new design again because we want to reset it. And this time we choose the reset button. And now I can go ahead and select another one. Click on install design. As you can see now, my homepage has now been installed with this new design. And again, if I decided I didn't want it, go back to the admin area and use the reset button should you decide you want to start fresh. So that's how to install one of the predefined layouts for the Premium Press team. Let's go ahead and install it for real this time and then start making customizations. So click on view designs. Let's start with the default one. So click on install theme. So we can now see this is the new home page. Let's go back to our admin area. And instead of using the new design, this blue button, this time we're gonna click on edit design. From this page, we can start customizing the content on our inner pages. So for example, the home page, about us page, etc. This is where we can view and customize it. We can click on the button view to view the existing content on our home page. We have the option to edit, so we can go ahead and edit content. Or should we decide we want to set a different page, we can set a different page for our home page. Now, we haven't installed any plugins. None of the premium press themes require any plugins to work. So as you can see, there are no plugins installed. If I want to edit any of the page content, I would use this option here. And we have all of the settings to customize the existing blocks on the home page can be done here. So I click on settings. And here you can see the hero image. So this is the image on my home page. And if I want to change the title, for example, the simple and elegant, I'll just add the word one, two, three, four. Click save changes. And now if I view my homepage, we can see we have one, two, three, four. So as you can see, the premium press themes do not require any third party plugins. You can customize the design just using the basic options, which is very, very useful because obviously not everybody wants to use third party plugins. That being said, many people do, and obviously using a front-end drag-and-drop page builder is so much more convenient than having to use the standard uh, options within a WordPress theme. So I'm gonna show you now how to customize the home page using a page builder. And in this case, we're gonna use Elementor. So if you haven't installed Elementor, you'll notice this um, yellow button that says Install Elementor. And since I've already installed it, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it. So we'll click on activate. Once activated, we go back to the admin again, design, we go to edit pages, and you'll notice on the left-hand side, the, the, the yellow button is gone. And on the right-hand side, you'll notice this Elementor icon has appeared. And now what happens is if I click on edit, it's gonna load the design directly into Elementor for me. So I can go ahead and use the drag and drop page options to customize my homepage. Okay, so you can see it's taken the content that I originally customized. So you can see the one, two, three, four, and loaded that into Elementor as well. So a great time saver for customizing and building your premium press theme. 
With Elementor, uh, on the right hand side, this is the visual element, so we can see all of the blocks. This is where you would visually see all the blocks. And on the left hand side, uh, where you customize the content. So if you can see here again, this is the, um, the hero block. So we have the image. And uh, if I click on this one, title and description, we can change the title. I would simply change the content here and you can see it changes and updates on the right hand side. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to customize the homepage completely, I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to click on settings and I'm just going to give it a unique name. And I like to do this. It's good practice so that you don't get confused when you create multiple elemental pages. So I'm just going to call this new page one, two, three, and that's just for the demo purposes. I want to update and I'm going to open a new window and go back to my admin area. Again, premium press design. We're going to edit the design. And I wanted to show you, you'll notice that my new home page one, two, three has been preset for me. So by loading Elementor as a new page template, it's going to load this into this box here to save you some time. So basically what it's telling the theme is that when the people view your home page, then it should display this Elementor page template. This is the home one, two, three. Obviously, if you've created multiple different homepage um, templates and you want to change it, you'd simply select a different homepage template. But in this case, this is the one I'm using. And if at any time I want to go ahead and customize again or reload the page to make changes, I can simply click on edit again and it will load in the default one I've just created. So if, for example, I just change this text to testing, testing, one, two, three. I click update, I close the window, I view my home page. So this is my new page. So you can see testing one, two, three. If I wanted to go ahead and um, close all the windows and come back. So if I just go back to the admin, give this refresh. If I wanted to come back at later date, so let's say a week later, I've come back and I've decided I want to edit the home page again. I can go ahead and just click edit again. And it's going to load in exactly the same template that's actually displayed on my home page. So I can go ahead and start customizing again straight away. Four, five, six. Update again, I can close the window if I want to, load my website, and as you see, it's loading again the page template that I've been using all along for my homepage. Okay, so now we know how to um, set our homepage, how to change some of the objects. Let me quickly show you some of the design options. So again, we go back to the admin area of our WordPress website. We click on Premium Press, Design. Again, we're gonna edit the page. We're going to find our home page. So this is our home page. We click on edit to load it back into Elementor. And this is where we can start customizing and designing our page. So let's say, for example, I didn't want this, um, this block at the top. I would click on the uh, delete section. So I would delete that one. I can scroll down and delete other options. So for example, I want to delete this one as well. So let's just say, for example, I didn't want this section and I didn't want this one. So you can see now I just have some, um, products. So this will be a products. And let's say I save this. I preview my homepage to see what it looks like now. So let's go ahead and preview this. Keep it fresh. As you can see, this is what it looks like now. So I just have um, a carousel of products. And now I decide, oh no, I've deleted far too much. Let me add some new items. So let's go ahead and use the elements or options. Under search widgets, if we use a bracket option, we can quickly find all the premium press um, widgets. Uh, the blog side options, you can ignore those are only for sidebar options. The key one here is premium press. So we just copy, we just hold down and drag this over. It's going to load into the page and we select the block type on the left hand side. So we're going to go and say, if say let's add some text. So it's, uh, we've added a text block and now we select the layout and there are lots of layouts. So what I'd like to do is select style one. And then I am, um, you can see, this is what it would look like. So this is style one. I can go style. Uh, two style three or if you want you can just start with one and using the um, down arrow on your keyboard you can automatically scale through so I can go three four like this so I can preview all the designs now obviously that's one way of doing it the other option is to preview all the designs we go to premium press design and on the left hand side at the bottom is a section called all blocks and if we click this we can see all of the predefined blocks that are included within your pre press theme so if I quickly show you, if we load Elementor again, if we just select the block design set, setup, we have this block type. So you can see header, footer, hero, text, etc. And in the, the previews, we have the same options, header, footer, uh, hero, text, etc. If we click on any of these, so for example, uh, the text, since we're using the text, 
we can see these are the layout so this refers directly to the layout option under design so you can see we've got style 1 10 12 etc uh, and we see we have the same style up here. So one, two, three. So basically we can preview all of the um, layout options here should we decide to do so first instead of having to go through them one by one here. For me personally, I still find this option the quickest. If I um, want to skip through some of them, I just use a keyboard and go down and that way then I can preview. Hopefully eventually we'll have some preview options built into Elemental so we can preview them that way instead. But for the moment, there are some um, restrictions in what you can do with Elementor. That being said, let's go ahead and continue customizing. Um, let's say, for example, we want to change um, this image. Again, we would use the design block options. You have this title and description, which obviously refers to the title and description of the block, the button one and button two. So if you wanted to hide um, button one, we just use the hide options. As you can see, the button is now gone. And again, the same applies to displaying it. Just simply click show. With buttons and everything else, we have multiple options. So this is button one, we can change the title. So text, one, two, three. And as you'll notice again on the right hand side, the uh, text displays the changed. We can change the size of the button. So we can have a large button. We can have an icon with it. So we could use the icon options. So we just put a bell in there. We can move the icon to the right using the text position. We could use, um, there you go. So the, the icon will be on the right hand side. And or we can use a different button style. So we have multiple button styles. We have an outline option, rounded buttons, rounded outlines, etc., etc. So there are lots of design options included within the theme and by all means take your time and go through them one by one. So just to complete a new home page, we will click on this add a new image. So let's see what images we've got. Let's add this one in. Okay, so this is to welcome to our website. So this would be, let's just say, I want to change this to welcome to my shop since we're using the shop theme. Okay, I don't want this button because obviously it looks, uh, doesn't look so good. So let's hide this button. Let's keep button two, um, but we're going to change it to search products. Search products. Okay, and we can set our um, link here as well so we cut our link in this example i'm just going to use a demo one um, search okay okay we're going to update and then we can go ahead and use the preview button if you wanted to to preview the changes so this would be what my new website would look like welcome to my shop we have a nice image search buttons and we have some featured products underneath and under that we have some new items Again, this is a very, very quick introduction. Um, obviously take some time, go through some of the display options to try out some of the different blocks. We have so many, we have icon blocks. Again, just select them and go through the layouts. Use your keyboard, scroll down. You can create amazing layouts very easily using some of these new design options within the Premiere Pro Steam. Enjoy yourself and I'll see you in the next video.